assalamu alaikum dr ashish mahmood here in this uh, video we will learn that how we are going to plot uh, the uh, anthropometric measurements on the plot charts uh, it is very important for pediatric residents to have a good hold on this topic so first you have to take the anthropometric measurement as per the guidelines and as per protocol then we will plot on it so usually we use the cdc that is uh, center for disease control uh, growth charts uh, for this purpose other charts who charts are also available but uh, commonly used charts are uh, these cdc growth charts for uh, there are color coding of these charts in the form of blue color and the pink color the blue is for the boys and pink is for the girls and there are charts for the uh, weight for age length for age weight for height head circumference and bmi so these are the different types of charts that are available the the boys charts are divided for the weight for length uh, weight for age and length for age charts are uh, birth to 36 months and then onward and uh, weight for length charts uh, and uh, are also from the birth to the with all 20 years of age and uh, the bmi charts are also available that that are used after the age of 2 year before the age of 2 year we use the uh, weight for uh, weight for age charts so after 2 years you will use the bmi chart and head circumference is charts are uh, available up to the age of 36 months that is 3 years so routinely head circumference is taken up to 3 years of age so this picture is uh, showing a, a chart that is from birth to 36 months for the boys so in this uh, on the x axis you will get the age of child in y months and on y axis you will get the length and in the centile pattern you will get the centiles that start from the 5th centile to the 90th centile so before 5th is abnormal above 90th it is also abnormal and the important thing is sequential measurements that once you take a height a length ofc and then we will repeat it after the period of 6 months around next visit and that is very important that how the child is growing it is growing upward or downward so most important thing is the sequential charting single chart is not important again a chart next chart is showing birth to 36 months for the girls i have told you that, that you can identify by color coding that it is the pink so it is for the girls length for age and weight for age so on the y axis you have the length and the weight and on the x axis you will have the age in the months again a chart from birth to 36 months of age that is head circumference for age and weight uh, age head circumference on the y axis and x axis is the age in the months of the child again a chart of birth to 36 months for the girls for the head circumference this is chart from the 2 to 20 uh, 20 years boys uh, stature for age and weight for age centile same chart for the girls with stature for age and uh, weight for age percentile again the same chart for the body mass index for age percentile so it is from 2 to 20 years i have told you that before 2 years you have not to mention his bmi but uh, the weight for age so again bmi chart for the boys uh, weight for stature percentile for the boys so it is weight for stature that weight for height that is important in uh, wasting so wasting is defined by the weight for stature and stunting is defined by the height for age weight for stature chart for the girls pink color now we will uh, take the example that how we are going to plot it a uh, few example uh, by plotting i will show you so let's suppose that uh, we are having a child whose age is 24 month and whose weight is 12 kg so he is boy 24 month and 12 kg so first we will uh, uh, select the chart that is a blue uh, blue color for the boys of the age 0 to 36 month on x axis we will uh, mark on 24 months and y axis we will mark on 12 and then we will combine these and we will then follow that to the centile lines so here you can say that uh, it is falling between the 25th and the 50th centile next is the birth to 36 months boys head circumference for the age chart so let's suppose again the same boy with 24 month of age so on the x axis we have marked the age as 24 month and on y axis we have marked the head circumference the child's head circumference is 48 so we will combine both of these charts and uh, then we will follow the centile line so it is falling on the 50th centile so for boys we have select for the blue chart head circumference and then we will go for plotting by first looking at the age 24 month 
and then head circumference on the y axis that is 48 and then we will follow the centile chart so boys head circumference is following in the 50th centile here next is the uh, chart showing the stature and the age so it is age for uh, 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 length for age chart so age of child here is the 8 month and the height is 120 cm so we will mark both on the respective sides age on the x axis and the height on the y axis and we will combine so it is following uh, between the on the 10th centile here again is the age for the weight chart the age of child is 8 year weight is 25 kg we will mark on both side on x axis and y axis and then we will follow it it is coming on the uh, 50th centile on finally centile lines again a, a chart showing the length and the uh, age and length and the age so the age is 24 month and length is 85 centimeter we will combine both these lines and follow so it is again coming uh, the on the 50th centile next chart is about the uh, stature and the uh, weight so it is a, a chart that is weight and stature so it is a uh, weight for length or length uh, chart so first is example here is shown is the stature of child is 100 year and weight is 15 kg so we will combine both of these stature on the x-axis and weight on y-axis and we will follow to the centile line so the weight for length in this case is falling uh, between the two centile line if we follow this centile line it comes between the 25th and 50th so weight for length is between 25th and 50th centile next is a boy uh, and chart is showing a it is a bmi chart and the boy's age is four year and um, bmi is uh, 15 so we will plot it and it is uh, in the range of uh, 25th centile so first you have to take the BMI of the child, then age of child and the select appropriate chart, plot age on the x-axis and y-axis BMI and then follow the centile lines. So mid parental height is where in plotting height and approaching a short stature mid parental height concept of mid parental height is very important. So in girls we uh, for that we subtract 13 cm and for boys we add 13 cm. So we take mother height, father height minus 13 for the girls and divide it by 2 and add 13 for the boys and divide it by 2 so plotting mid parental height is that first you take mid parental height then you go to the on x axis to the 20 years of age and then uh, mark that line suppose we have a child whose uh, mother and father height are uh, height are such that gives rise to a mid parental height of 155 centimeter and we will add a range of 10 cm above and below so range will be 165 and 145 so the child should fall within this range of centiles 165 and 145 and then we will trace it back so now a child is ages of 10 years and his height is 125 cm so we will mark it so it is coming uh, below the 5th centile but if we follow the lines of centile from uh, of the mid parental height from uh, 145 to 165 then we can see that he is falling with it in the uh, family curve so he will be a case of familial short stature uh, when plotting a baby's growth it is recommended that use corrected age through two years from the original due date so this is important for the preterm babies that how will you will uh, plot the preterm babies so pre for preterm babies we can use corrected age to the two years of age and even some recommend that up to three years of age you can use the corrected age corrected age is that we will minus the uh, from total age we will minus the uh, gestational, gestational period that he was born before suppose he was born two months three months four months before the uh, final term so we will, will minus it from the total uh, uh, age of the child if age is not corrected then infant may appear to be growing uh, uh, suboptimally and most of the catch-up growth in the premature infants occur in before the period of uh, in in the within two years so important is that in premature babies you have to correct correct his age till the age of three years and uh, there are chances that he can achieve uh, and uh, catch up grow within two years of age uh, suppose we this is uh, shown with example here suppose we having having a three year old girl 
who was born at 27 weeks of uh, gestation so uh, considering term to be 40 weeks so he was 13 weeks preterm 13 weeks is equal to 3 months so from the fi final age of 36 months we will minus the 3 months so he, his corrected gestation uh, corrected age will be 33 months so child was born at 27 week final we consider term at 40 weeks so he was uh, the age that that he was delivered before was 13 weeks at 3 months so we will minus this age from his actual chronological age that is 3 years or 36 months so 36 months minus 3 months comes to be 33 months so we will plot on the him on the 33 months now this is formula for the bmi that uh, weight in kg over height in meter square and uh, uh, obesity for obesity uh, you will plot it on the bmi charts and uh, if its age is less than 2 years then uh, weight for length centile are taken and if age is uh, weight is uh, his child age is more than 2 year then bmi centiles will be taken and criteria for obesity is that uh, 95th centile if it is more than 95th centile then we will label him uh, over uh, obese and between 85th to 95th centile he is overweight so 85 to 95th centile overweight and more than 95th centile is obese these are bmi percentile charts written again uh, underweight is less than 10th centile normal is 10 to 84th centile overweight is 85 to 95th 94th centile more than 95th is obese and more than an, uh, 120 is extreme obesity now there are specific some conditions where growth is affected and growth pattern is different so different growth chart have been recommended like trisomy 21 prader willi williams syndrome cornelia de lange Turner syndrome, Rubinstein, Tybee syndrome, Marfan syndrome, and chondroplasia. In these conditions, you can use specific growth charts. Now, uh, WHO recommends uh, most of definition that you will go through. You will recommend uh, will say that a standard deviation minus two, minus plus two. But in CDC, you will get only the centiles, like fifty fifth centile, ten, twenty fifth, fifty, seventy five, ninety five. So if it is less than third centile. or if it is more than 90th centile then it will be plus 2 sd or minus sd if it is less than 3rd centile so it is minus 2 sd and if it is more than 97th centile it is plus 2 sd some definitions macrocephaly and macrocephaly Mac macrocephaly is uh, more than 2 standard deviation or above 97th centile macrocephaly is below 3rd standard deviation so minus 3rd standard deviation and short stature definition is that uh, height is below 3rd centile Our height is below uh, minus two standard deviations. Our height velocity is below twenty fifth centile. So these three things should fulfill before labeling a short stature. Said that, that uh, height is below minus two standard deviation. Height is below third centile. Our height velocity is below twenty fifth centile. That is taken over six to twelve months of period. So this was a brief discussion about uh, anthropometric plotting and some definitions. I hope this uh, had make something uh, different for you.